Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to draw a ray diagram to show how an image is formed by a concave lens. You should then be able to describe the properties of an image produced by a concave lens. And this is for triple physics students only. In the last two videos we've been looking at convex lenses and I'm showing you here a picture of a convex lens and the symbol. Remember that a convex lens is thicker in the center than the edges. We saw that a convex lens focuses parallel rays of light to a point, and that's called the principal focus. And the distance from the lens to the principal focus is called the focal length. There is another type of lens that you need to know about. This is called a concave lens, and I'm showing that here. A concave lens is thicker at the edges than the center. Now concave lenses are very different to convex lenses. I'm showing you here rays of light hitting a concave lens. Concave lenses make light rays spread out. Scientists say that the light rays diverge. If we plot the lines behind the lens, we can see that they come to a point, and this is the principal focus, F. Now it's important to understand that a concave lens is not actually focusing the light at the principal focus. The light rays only appear to be coming from the principal focus. Okay, so let's draw a ray diagram showing the image produced by a concave lens. So here's the object and the concave lens. First we draw a ray from the top of the object passing through the center of the lens without changing direction. Next we draw another ray from the top of the object. This passes through the lens and it's refracted like this. Remember that this ray must appear to have come from the principal focus, so it's important to draw a dotted line to show this. Where these lines meet shows the position of the image. Now the image has got three key properties. Firstly, the image is diminished. In other words, it's smaller than the object. Secondly, the image is the right way up. And lastly, the image is virtual because the rays do not actually cross there. They only appear to cross there. And if we placed a screen where the image appears, we would not see an image on the screen. So with a concave lens, the image will always be diminished, the right way up, and virtual. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on concave lenses in my Vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above.